Howdy, Paws and Patty here. And well, a very strange thing happened to me today. Well, you know, I had a little bit of quiet time this morning. Mr. Possum was still asleep. And I came in here and I started working on a journaling page. Let me get it, it's over there. I forgot, whoops. <laughs> I just walked into my Dollar Tree bag. that back on the floor. <laughs> yes, I was working at Craffalanche. Oh my goodness, this is what I want to talk about. <laughs> I was working on a page in my Emma Shabby Chic Spring Journal. You know, the page that I was talking about in the last video about my little lavender cuttings. And so just sitting here quietly <laughs> having some fun. I'll show you in a few minutes. And I was like, okay, I was waiting for something to dry. And I went to look for something in this pile of junk I have over here. And well, I said, well, let me just put some of the trash into my trashy flow journal. So I started sticking a few things in the pockets that I had already made. And then I was digging deeper into the, <laughs> into the pile there. And I came across my, Iris app fell a little golden book and it's been sitting here since I was talking about it. And I was like, well, let me go put Emma over there for a second and you know, let some things dry. And I'll just start my Iris. I said, I got a few minutes. I said, I'm going to, you know, take the book apart. Now, if you're interested in making journals out of little golden books, I have a few videos about that and I can link them, you know, below down in the basement. They're very easy to take apart. Yeah, so I started working on that. And let's see, so I glued supports on there and I was waiting for these to dry. And I took the pages from the original story. Now those are down on the floor, let me go get those. I'm really prepared today, right? <laughs> well, I opened up the first signature. They come apart very easily because, you know, there's like a series of little holes there. You know, like when you want to rip something off and they have those little, you know, perforations there and you can tear it easily. So once that staples out, they do tear very easily. So usually what I do is... <laughs> I'm just making a bigger mess and a bigger mess here. I take a piece of old mailing envelope. I like to use the ones that are tie that because they're very strong. And I cut a very thin strip and I glue it right across where, you know, where those little holes are. And then it holds them together very, very well. It does a good job. And then I sew these back into the journal that I'm making. Yes, yeah, so that was my plan, you know, just to put some of this little Tyvek on there. But when I opened up, you know, to the center fold of the first signature, I started reading the story. Iris's interest in art and design began when she was a little girl visiting her grandparents in Brooklyn. Her grandma had bags of fabric scraps that she kept in her closet. Iris would spill them out and sit on the floor studying them like a jeweler examining rare gems. She was fascinated by all the different patterns and colors and textures, grouping the samples that went together best. And there's a picture here of some of the assorted fabric samples. When it was time to go home, her grandma let her pick out six samples she could take with her. Iris didn't know it at the time that all that fun with fabrics would help her become a fabric expert later in life. So if you don't know who Iris Apfel is, <laughs> Iris Apfel, yes, um, she's one of my heroes. She just passed away very recently, I think at the age of 102, but she was a fashion designer, interior decorator. Um, she decorated the White House for Oh my gosh, it was in here somewhere, like seven different presidents or more than that. But I'll, I'll talk about that on another day. Oh, here it is. Nine different presidents. All right. 
anyway, so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, instead of using the Tyvek, why don't I put strips of fabric in the center? Now, I've done these little golden books several different ways. And um, yeah, one way was with the Tyvek. Another way was using cardstock. And I didn't like that because it was too thick. But now I'm like, hmm, strips of fabric. Well, I got out my bag of Dollar Tree fabrics here. I got quite a collection going. And isn't it a coincidence that her grandmother let her take six pieces home and you need six strips of fabric <laughs> to put together this journal? Yeah, so I ripped a few strips of the fabric and then, you know, here they are. Here's the last one. <laughs> and I'm using them to, you know, reinforce that area that's a little weak. So I've got most of them done. I have one left to go. So I'm going to glue this, just glue it like right down the center like this. And then later I will finish putting the journal together. Speaking of Dollar Tree fabric, today would be a good day to do my fun finds from the Dollar Tree. I found some new fabric. Mm -hmm. Just wait till you see this. And I already have idea what I want to do with it. And I just came up from the big. I just came up from the basement with a bubble mailer from Amazon. I was showing you my garden journal yesterday and how I made it from a bubble mailer. So I'm going to make a new journal from a bubble mailer and Dollar Tree fabric. We'll get into this in a minute. So let's see. I'm working on Iris's book. I have to finish my lavender page. It's almost done. I want to show you that. And a fun new fabric collection. So, well, that's enough for today. So come on along. Yeah, I thought I was in the process of cleaning off the table but I just made a much larger mess. Anyway, <laughs> I have three or four of these journals that I made with the bubble mailers. And I love this soft cover and I love to decorate them. And I did show this the other day. So let's do the fabric first. Now, I have not even opened them up yet, so I'm excited. I'll be seeing them right along with you for the first time. And voila, I love this collection for summer. It is so tropical. <laughs> and the jungle prints there are awesome. So let's open these up. These are all Crafter Square. Now the Crafter Square fabric that comes in these little packs is about 18 by 21 inches and 100% cotton. And someone asked if I washed fabric before I used it. No, I don't wash the fabric if I'm just crafting with it. You know, it has a sizing on it, so I like to keep that sizing on there if I'm just journaling with it or sewing crafty things. Okay, here's the first one. And I'm loving this tropical vibe. These big leaves and orchids. They look like orchids, don't they? Yes, I just love the green and the pink and a little bit of orange in there too. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, and there's butterflies too. Okay, so that's the first one. Now I'm thinking a summer journal. I know I have a summer journal that I want to finish up this year, but that's okay. I can make this for next year. And this one has tropical birds. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. Look at this. The toucan and the parrot. And see, it's got the same foliage design. Well, it's going to be hard to pick which one to put on the cover. Look at that. 
Oh, I love the little parrot though. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's the second one. Well, you know, one of these days when I'm in the mood to put together a new journal, I'll have all the supplies and it'll be ready for next summer. Now this one has the addition of a jaguar. But the same kind of tropical foliage. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is awesome. I love it. Look at that. And this is super fun. Even this would make an awesome cover for a journal. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Oh, I love this. Hmm. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Oh, I don't have to decide today, but I'm just loving this material. And then the last one. I thought it looked like a zebra, but maybe it's just the black and white design. There are no zebras in the tropical jungle. Yeah, this is just a design. That's definitely not a zebra. <laughs> I think this is just a contrasting design to go with the, with the rest of it. Yeah. Or maybe it belongs to another set. I don't know. I just saw it with this, and so I picked it up, too. I'll look for more and see if there's other things that might match that. Oh, you know what? I'm looking here. Look at this one. Like I said, I'm just opening these for the first time. This one has a black and white background. So I bet you, yes. I And, and the black toucans, yes, yes. I think, yes, yes. There we go. Here we go. Because I know there's always like some kind of coordination going on between the prints. You know, so you have the floral and the leaves, and then you have the jaguar with the leaves, and then you have the jaguar print, and then you have the floral and the birds with the floral with the black and white background and a black and white pattern to go with that. So this is my idea, all right? <laughs> <laughs> this is how they go. I feel like Iris Apfel examining my little swatches of material and putting the ones that go together together. And then the jungle with the jaguar and then the jaguar print. Look at that. Yes. Beauteous. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I want to make the journal and then use as much of this material as I can in the journal. Maybe make some ruffles, some fabric flips, some pockets, and get all this fabric into the journal. And like I said, I think it's going to be a summer journal. And while I was at the Dollar Tree, I saw a new diamond painting kit. Ta-da! <laughs> and it's a toucan. And I was like, hmm. Yes, it's not very big. It's six by six. I was like, that might fit into the journal. Let's open this up for the first time, too. All right, that's the size. And the size of the journal is this. Now I can trim this before I put it together and make it a little smaller. Got to get his whole beak in there. But yes, he'll fit on there like that. All I have to do is like not put the diamonds on those edges and then I can sew the canvas right on there or I could I'm sorry, I'm just sitting here playing. <laughs> I'm sitting here playing. Oh, you know what? I would use this one. I would use this one, right? And then put the toucan there. Put the toucan on there. Like that. That might be fun. Okay. So with this idea, I can challenge myself to make a Dollar Tree 
sort of rainforesty, tropical jungle, summer journal using all the ephemera from the Dollar Tree. Yes, yeah, so this will be a Dollar Tree challenge to make a summer journal with this tropical theme. Ooh, now I'm getting excited because I have something to hunt for, right? I'm going to be hunting for any more fabric that might go with this or things that I can use for ephemera or to decorate the journal with. I've never done a painting where you have to fill in every space. No. Never done it. So this will be interesting. But I've got my new glasses, so I'm all excited <laughs> that now I can sew and do diamond painting and work on some new things. All right, let's get organized. You're not organized today, Possum Patty. You're just having fun. You're just playing here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these together in a giant Ziploc bag and put it aside. And every time I find something that'll go with this theme, could be stickers or stamps or any, maybe beads. I don't know, whatever I can find, I'll put it all together. And then as soon as I have enough things, I'll start making this journal. In yesterday's video, I was talking about some special paper that I found, and it is this Laura Ashley vellum. Now, it is damaged. I got it at the flea market with a whole bunch of other paper, but I love the little purple flowers and the green leaves. It's got little, like little white daisies or something, too. And I was thinking that I can take this vellum and put it on this lavender paper so you can see the flowers a little better and then make a belly band and then put it on the page and I was going to use this as like a background on the page and then have this for a belly band. That was my idea. I also had some extra paper here. I had this paper with this paisleys on it and I had a few other sheets sitting here too, but now they're buried. <laughs> well, I had the scraps left over from yesterday and some of these other purple papers too. But I think I pretty much settled on the other ones. That one too. All right, so, so then everything changed as soon as I opened up the journal. When I got to the page, I noticed that the stenciling was a paisley. And then I looked back over to my left and I said, ooh, paisley paper. I'm like, how can I, how can I do this and leave the paisley on there? And then of course I'm like, duh, <laughs> just don't cover the background, you know? I'm used to having like maybe a white page or something so I could put a paper on the background. And then I was talking about how I spent so much time painting and stenciling every page in this journal, which I knew was going to get covered up eventually, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Anyway, I'm like, all right, so maybe this will be one of the pages where I don't cover the background. And this would be the perfect time to use that paisley paper. And I've got this paisley over here and I'm like, mm, yes, 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 yes. So I changed my plan a little bit. Using the same papers, I started with the vellum, the Laura Ashley vellum, and I cut a strip and I put it on the lavender. So you can see the vellum in the lavender. And then I put it on this tiny floral. So I still got to use this tiny floral. And then I'm like, well, you know, when I make a belly band, I like to put some kind of accent piece on there. I said, ooh, I can cut out a paisley and stick it right down there. I said, oh, I like that, I like that. And then I'm like, hmm, 
I can do one step further and put some bling bling. <laughs> I like my bling bling. And so I cut off this strip, which is here a second ago. This is what I have to do tomorrow. I must clean off the table tomorrow <laughs> and not get sidetracked. Okay, so I got out this bling bling. We've got different shapes and different sizes on there. And as you can see, I put the shapes in the leaves and I put some larger circles on the side and some smaller ones in the middle. And I'm like, I'm loving this. I can see my paisleys. I got a bling bling going on another paisley here. It's all coming together, especially when I put in my color chip card that says purples. Look at that. Love it. I love it. I love it. Purples, purples. And this is the field of lavender. And I'm going to journal about my lavender. Oh, yeah. And I put the paisleys on the back, too, because it can go that way or it can go this way. I kind of like this way with the word purples there. In another life, I might have cut off that word. <laughs> yes, in another life, I might have done that. So there were no words on there. But lately, I've been loving the word. So we're going to leave that word purple on there. Would you have taken that word off, purples, or left it on? Yes, I'm getting more into the words and trying to write more. My first couple of junk journals have like zero writing in them and like not even the names of the people <laughs> who are in the journal. And I keep saying this. I know I've got to go back to my first journals and make like a little cheat sheet and put it in a pocket in the journal of like what I can remember places and names and dates. So yes, I need to do that. All right, so all I have left to do on this is to put my pictures on here and do my journaling, and this will be done. So this can be my Finish It Friday. Purples, as you can see, I got out some Stazon Royal Purple ink, <laughs> made a mess around the edge. And on this side, I used two different purples. I used the lighter one to write on and the little bit darker one as a frame around the pictures. April 2nd, 2024, took cuttings from the lavender. Will they grow? Just stuck them into the ground and this shows, you know, it shows me where I put them. <laughs> And April 18th, I have a close-up of one of the cuttings, and it is still alive. So this experiment will continue. I used my Dollar Tree sparkly pen <laughs> to do my journaling. And is this dry? I have to make sure there's no blobs of ink. So I can take it and... Slide it right into there, and I'm just loving this page. I'm so happy. I looked through my garden journal and you know, thought about making a belly band because I haven't made one in a while. Well, you know, this is almost like diamond painting, isn't it? Taking the little shapes and just gluing them on. <laughs> so, a very fun spread. So, Finish It Friday, I finished this journal page. Now this spread is done. I've been talking about this, and now they're done. I've got a new Dollar Tree project in the works, and I will be collecting all these fun jungle prints or toucans or things like that, and I will fill this bag, and this will be ready to make a new journal. And speaking of new journals... I've got my Irish journal started, and I decided that I was going to be using lots of fabric in this too because she was a fabric expert. Now, what I do when I love the story is I keep the story intact, and I put it in the center, and then I add journaling pages around it. So... Yes, the story will be all intact so you can read the story and that'll be in the center and then I'll have a journaling signature before and after it, but I will show you. I've done this a few times, like I said, and I will list my little golden book 
journals below if you want to check them out. And that's it. Three things, right? <laughs> Three things for today. All right, so I got to get this together. This part is dry. Now I'm going to catch the spine. Well, tomorrow's supposed to be a rainy day. What else is new here at Soggy Bottom? And hopefully I'll get my iris together. And I'll get this mess cleaned up a little bit. I know there's a lot of things there. Oh, yeah. If you're interested in my Dollar Tree fabric collection, this whole bag is full of Dollar Tree fabric. All this is from the Dollar Tree. Then I'll list that video below because I do have a video where I go through my Dollar Tree collection. And now I have some new ones to add to it. I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree fabric in the Irish Journal. The ones from this bag, yes, will go in the Irish Journal. And then the other ones I'll save for, you know, that special journal. Well, yes, a big mess to clean up tomorrow. Well, I'll start and you never know how I'm going to get distracted. <laughs> well, thanks for coming along today and happy junk journaling. Bye-bye.